I want to see a team. I want to see players who, who fight. And when I talk about fight, it's not only about what you're doing out of possession, also in possession, that you have to be brave. brave. And also there you have to invest in runs. And I think yeah, we, we have seen that today all on the pitch. Eric Ten Hag there speaking after Manchester United's 2-1 win over Liverpool. And the big word, the buzzword there is fight. And I want to do this video. I'm really going to enjoy this video. And I think you will too, because I'm seeing something different. I'm seeing something new inside this United team. And it's coming because Eric Ten Hag is our manager. Every business is representative of the person who owns it. It's why Manchester United as a football club have stagnated for years because of the Glazers. Now, this football team is becoming representative of what Ten Hag is trying to instill in this club. And I tell you what, it's starting to work. And we're getting to moments like this away at Chelsea. Now, there will be people in the comments going, oh, Sam, are you celebrating a draw against Chelsea? I'm not celebrating the draw against Chelsea. I'm celebrating what I saw. And I'm celebrating how different it feels with the reactions from these players and how genuine it feels. That football, as a fan, when it's broken down simply, you just want to see your players give a shit. Every week, you want to, you want them to be playing as if they are fans of the club. You want them to play on the pitch how you support the club. And the reactions and everything that we saw after that Chelsea game, that's not something that's done by a paycheck. That's something that's done through genuine grit, determination, and fight. And fight is the big buzzword. And I tell you what, Ten Hag has achieved more by this point progress than I thought he would have. We spoke about it on the live stream a few weeks ago. I, I, we all agreed that United were about 20-25% of the way along the road to where Ten Hag wants this United team to be. I think over the, next, the last 10 days, that's jumped an extra 10-15%. And I think there's a couple of reasons why. Now, this for me is quite an important one. I think how Ten Hag has handled the Ronaldo situation over the last week has really reaffirmed his position as Manchester United's manager, the respect he's got from the players and the trickle down effect of that respect inside the dressing room. Ten Hag spoke about it after and he said, look, I, I'm the manager. I'm responsible for the culture and I have to set the standards and the values. After Real Vallecano, Ronaldo left second time. There's got to be consequences. But football is a team sport. You have to set a certain standard. And Ten Hag and the way that he's handled the Ronaldo situation, I think, commands respect from all the players. And I think we're seeing that in how these players are responding on the pitch, in how these players are playing for Manchester United. There seems to be a new fight burning bright inside these players that I don't think we've seen for a long time. And it's not that Chelsea game and just that Chelsea game, is it? That game against Spurs was the most dominant performance we've seen for a long time. And over the last 10 days, nine days actually, gruelling. Chelsea away there. A few days before we had Spurs. A few days before that, we had Omanir. And with Newcastle. Or was it Newcastle in between Omanir? I can't remember. Either way, three wins and a draw against Newcastle, which we probably should have won, given that we weren't being clinical. It's something new. And I'll tell you something else I think that's been pretty crucial over these last 10 days. And that's this man here. Casemiro. Some fans try to jump on the bandwagon early and they look like dicks. They look like Jamie Carragher's. Jumping on the bandwagon saying, Casemiro, oh, that's why Real Madrid sold him. No, he was settling in and setting in. And I'll tell you what, he has settled. And then some. Casemiro and this sort of, this new edge that we're seeing to this United team. This new steel. It's coming from within. It's coming from trickle down from Ten Hag and also from the players. And for me, Casemiro is a perfect example of that. That's his celebration after I think Bruno scored the second against Spurs. That's his celebration there against Chelsea. And you saw what I mean. That, that was almost like a primal scream from him, how he was celebrating that. A big, big release. Maybe he was pissed off that people were trying to write him off. And that was his response to it. But as a team... We are playing like a team. And as I said, that's coming down from the manager. But it's not just with Casemiro. And that's the big thing as well. 
it's this man who's really been setting the tone all season long, isn't it? Since Brighton and Brentford, Lissandro Martinez has been not flawless, but close to. He's been sensational. And it's strange, really, because for years, I, I think United have, as a team, you'd struggle to name a captain. So you'd struggle to point at someone and go, you know what? That's a captain. I can trust that player to represent United. But Martinez just gets it. I think he, that's just him. I imagine when, when Ten Hag uses that word there, culture, and we talk about Lissandro Martinez, we talk about, oh, I'll talk about Deleuze in a little bit, actually, and the other players, Martinez and Casemiro. There's a South American twang to this team, the personality that's coming through. Everyone's definitely got that dog in him. Dog. And Anthony has got it as well. But I, that was going to be my next point, which I spoiled there. It's not just coming from new signings. Delo is probably the best example. Metomini would be a good one too. But Delo, wow, looks like a man reborn. Ten Hag, that's definitely coming in part because of his coaching. But it's also becoming because of the players that he is now surrounded with. Delo is surrounded by Martinez and he knows now that if he can't put in that level of performance and that same sort of grit and determination that you're seeing from Casemiro, that you're seeing from Martinez, Delo is now responsible for doing that himself because of the standards that Ten Hag is setting and the standards that these players are setting. Everything is going up a notch at the, right, at the moment and everything's heading in the right direction. And I said this on Twitter and I stand by it. I genuinely, I, I've, I've I've got a connection with this United team and these players that I don't think I've had for a long time. I said there that they're ready to go to war and I feel like that's the best way to describe them and to describe how United are playing. Because I've felt connected to a team under Solskjaer. I remember it. I think it was 2019-20 season. I felt like there was a likability to these players that we hadn't seen for so long. But this is different. These players are ready to fucking scrap. They are ready to fight. And that's what Ten Hag said in that press conference I covered at the start of the video. He wants his team to fight. And what we're seeing from these players is a consequence of the trickle-down management from Eric Ten Hag. He's telling these... He's not saying that go out there and get a scrap on. But he's he wants to instill that fighting mentality. And it's, it's helping to change Manchester United. And results-wise, it really is changing Manchester United. I think it's been an extremely impressive start to the season. You know, beating Liverpool uh, at home... Arsenal at home, Spurs at home this weekend, Liverpool losing, Spurs losing, Arsenal drawing, and we got a point at Stamford Bridge. United have played nine out of the top 11 teams in the Premier League so far, and we're three points outside the top four. Eric Ten Hag has managed the start of this season better than I thought he could have. At this, but I didn't expect Manchester United here on the 24th of October, after 11 games, I didn't expect to have this level of confidence and connection with this team. And that comes down to his management and that comes down also to his coaching and that's a big part of it as well i'll bring this up on screen too because eric ten Hag, it's not just all like he's not just shouting at people he's not just saying things for no reason whatsoever eric ten Hag is changing games during games he's and that's what the best coaches in the world do they can see how something's not working and they can switch it ten Hag is doing that but he's also doing it on the training ground He's just getting it right. And these players seem to be getting it. These players seem to be on board with it. Every single one of them is fighting for Ten Hag as much as they're fighting for United. And maybe some of them are fighting for Ten Hag more than they're fighting for the shirt that they're wearing at the moment. But in time, that will grow. And I think Casemiro, in the last, over the last 10, he has added something that's allowed us to take it up a notch. And look at what we've got coming up next. West Ham at home, Villa away, Fulham away, Nottingham Forest at home and Wolves away. Two newly promoted teams, a team that's just sacked their manager and a team who, well, they don't have a manager at the moment in Wolves and West Ham are on the edge of the relegation zone. These are games now that we can go into confidence and I don't think it's outrageous to say that we we ask for 15, we don't ask for 15 points for that, but we would go into it with, these. Are, a lot of these games are the games on paper where teams, when you're playing like you are, when you're at top of the level, they should be routine wins. They should be. Not all of them will be. I don't think we'll get 15 points from that. But you have to have an element of confidence in this United team because of what we're seeing from Ten Hag and because of what we're seeing from these players. 
It's something new. It's something fresh. And it's something that I want more of. I'm looking forward to watching United play again. I'm looking forward to seeing what the next steps are with Eric Ten Hag. That's a testament to his management, a testament to his transfers and the players also. It's a testament to them and how they are playing now because things are definitely a little bit different at the moment and I can't wait to see how we continue to develop. This is a new United. This is The new culture is coming down that Ten Hag is setting. New standards and a new fighting spirit. I'm loving it. and I want more of it. I'm sure you agree with me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please drop a like on the video if you have watched this long. <sighs> Big up United, man. Up the Reds.